Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? And we, the Android Authority team, are here in Barcelona, Spain. The Fiera Gran Vera is right in the background for MWC 2017. Now, we brought you a lot of coverage already over the last couple of days. It is now day three of MWC. However, what we also wanted to do was share with you what else we get up to in our little network here, as we have a number of other websites where we, where we bring you stuff beyond the world of Android. And we bring you this segment called Beyond Android, where we show you what's going on on websites like Charge.io, Tab Times, Sound Guys, and VR Source. So why don't we go ahead and pop right into it. Hey guys, John Velasco here with Android Authority. I'm here at MWC 2017, but I'm going to be talking quickly about some stuff beyond Android for our sister website, VR Source. Some of the recent things that we did was uh, Josh actually went out to the IMAX VR experience in Los Angeles, and it's pretty cool because he explains it as being a VR arcade of sorts. They have these different pods with various VR experiences. They use the HTC Vive and the Star VR headsets and you get to try out all sorts of VR games and experiences there. Another one of my colleagues, David Immel, got the chance to check out the brand new Samsung VR roller coaster over at Six Flags in Vallejo, California. And it's kind of similar to all the other types of VR roller coasters we've seen from Samsung. So you strap on the headset, get to ride the roller coaster, but there's a VR element because you put on the Gear VR and you're transported to the space shooter game. And it's a co-op effort, so you have play with a partner. And it's it's, it's definitely thrilling. And as for myself, I reviewed a couple games for VR scores. The first one is Resident Evil 7 for the PlayStation VR. And I gotta say, that's by far the best game right now for the PlayStation VR. It changes up the gameplay, and also if you're a longtime fan, it's a very different type of gameplay and also storyline. Gotta check that out. And I also reviewed The Unspoken for the Oculus Rift. It uses the new touch controllers. Kind of reminds me of Doctor Strange, the movie, just because you're the sorcerer, magician, making all these spells. You do a lot of hand movements and gestures, so you gotta check them out. And here at MWC 2017, the only meaningful VR thing I checked out here was the new Samsung Gear VR motion controller. I didn't get a chance to see it in action. I did hold it. It's very similar to the Google Daydream View controller because there are sensors inside of it that can track motion. And there's also triggers, so it feels a lot more ergonomic. And that's about it. So if you guys want to learn more about any of the stuff I talked about in this video, check out our website, VR Source, your source for all kinds of reality. And from there, I'm happy to bring you the coverage from Charge.io. Now, a little bit over a week ago, I myself got to take a look at a car called the Lucid Air. Now, I'm not gonna give you too many details on the car because I really want you to watch the video, not only because I was the one who put it together, but because it's one of my favorite videos that I have ever, ever done. And I'm only gonna give you a sneak peek of it right now. Now, the Lucid Air is essentially a competitor to the Tesla Model S, and it brings incredible comfort into a package that is also incredibly powerful. The car is also able to do autonomous driving, so you'll be able to have the car do self-driving, uh, on top of just being able to wield that sheer power of the electric motors. So head on over to Charge.io to see that video and learn more about the Lucid Air. The link is down in the description below, and then at the end of this video, you'll see uh, subscription buttons for all of our different channels. Bringing it back stateside, I'm Adam Molina here in New York for Sound Guys, and we had a couple interesting things happen as well. For one, Josh got a chance to check out the iFi stackable speakers which was an Indiegogo project we wrote about way back in 2015 and actually won show awards at this past CES. What makes these special? Well, you can wirelessly daisy chain them by stacking them on top of each other or placing them next to each other. Josh was definitely a fan of the speakers, but not a big fan of the $299 price tag per speaker. Meanwhile, I also got a chance to check out the new Bose QuietComfort 30 headphones, which is the upgraded version to the QC20s. They still have some of the best active noise cancelling around, but what makes these special is that you can now control the amount of ANC like you do with the volume. Two up and down buttons let you adjust the strength as you see fit, which is pretty great in everyday use. On the flip side, I had some connectivity issues that made me really question if they were worth the price. On top of that, the neckband was a little all over the place for me and I couldn't get it to sit still. In the end, I feel Bose just slightly missed the mark with these. If you want to know more about the iFi speakers or the Bose QC30s or any of the other products we review, make sure to check out soundguys.com. If you want to keep up with all we do here at SoundGuys, including reviews, best lists, and monthly giveaways, you should definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Links to all of that down in the description. Even if you don't really care about audio, maybe you'll win some free headphones.
Who knows? So that should pretty much do it for our first edition of Beyond Android. Make sure you check out the other websites to see content from them and subscribe to those channels as well so you can see even more in the world beyond Android. Our MWC coverage has pretty much come to a close. So in the meantime, go ahead and check out these other websites for all of the best outside of Android and bring it back here because we are your source for all things Android. <laughs>